I'm gonna do things a little bit differently today. Got a laundry list of stuff that we would love to be tackling right now, if not for the limitations of, you know, social distancing, but also just getting equipment in days instead of weeks and months. Um, so this episode, we're just gonna do a little bit of the behind the scenes, pulling back the curtain, having some conversations, showing you what it's like uh, in between the episodes here, in, uh, here on the tribe. What do you want to do? I think that's like, especially because we, I guess we kind of erased all of our other ideas. I gave you a list of like 90 episode ideas. So I'm walking Alex through. Yeah. How do the ideas work? It's like, all right, man, let me pull out the Google Doc. Here's not only yeah, yeah, like yeah, dozens yeah. and dozens of episode ideas, here's series ideas. Like ideas for ongoing right, series. Right. I'm going through, we're listing them off, we're getting a game plan, and we're not even halfway through. It's like, okay, I think we have enough. That's. You know, there's plenty, there's more than enough. He begged for mercy. So many ideas were pouring out of me. Pull out the doc! Okay, they coming Lies and slander. Got like two sentences. <laughs> two sentences, that's, that's the idea. Yeah, here you go, come here. <laughs> come here. Blind price point episodes. Ready? It's like here's, a whole page. Here's the idea. Says, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here. All of that Ben Miller made <laughs> So basically, if we wanted to do, I, I, I want to dissect this. I love that Ben Milam lady. <laughs> yes. How, what does that have to do with Heather Green? That she's the Ben Milam lady. I feel like she's I'm having a stroke. <laughs> 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 this doesn't mean anything. It does. Perfect idea, right? We have somebody come on, and let's say we have five expensive whiskeys mm -hmm. and then one budget whiskey and we have people without the benefit of the bottle and the packaging and the backstory. What do you like? Can you spot? the budget in a lineup of expensive whiskey. That's a good idea. Yeah, but I mean, that's sentences, <laughs> that's English. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look. We've proven there's meaty, substantial layers upon layers of ideas here. How is that but you need me to translate. What is this? Whiskey fix. Whiskey curious, that's like the most fleshed out one. Which is right there. Yeah, yeah. You are right most of the time, right? Wait, hold on. Say the first part again slowly. I was saying uh -huh. that you have taught me absolutely nothing. <laughs> Apparently, Brian and Jason are doing an episode about smoke signals. We're gonna go up to the top of the Wizard Academy Tower and see if we can see the Modern Rogue HQ smoke signal from all the way over here. Who are you talking to? God damn it. <laughs> Is that it? I think so. I think we can see it even without the long lens. Hopefully we're aimed in the right direction. <laughs> <laughs> so you said you knew which way it was. Well, I mean, well. I'm a rock solid 80% confident that's the right fire. We are up here and ready whenever you guys are. Well, here's the thing. Do you know where they're actually setting the fire? Like, do you know where yeah, the it, compound is? It, it, yeah, it's, it's right near the Austin Zoo. Okay, and is the Austin Zoo over there? Now you're just getting complicated, Dan. Listen, now you can see Austin right over there. <laughs> <laughs> this is Murphy. I'm in position. Is it like right next to the Austin Zoo? Yeah. It's like a uh, half mile from the Austin Zoo. This might have been good to confirm before we recorded 15 minutes Where are y'all? Where are y'all again? <laughs> I'm, like, I'm just assuming they're at HQ. Test, test, test. I am here. Over. See, I did the right thing by saying over. We should say over because it's official. Over. Delta Echo Foxtrot, that is correct. We should say over. Over. You got a bogey, you got a bogey in your six, Brian. We're uh <laughs> we're pretty sure we're aimed in the right direction here. <laughs> I'm gonna hit the brakes, he'll fly right by. And finally, uh Bonnie, are you on location? Are you able to hear us? 
I'm standing above Torchies without a bra, and I'm looking out in the distance, and I don't see any tower. What? Okay. <laughs> That's perfect. I suddenly got very distracted. What are we doing? I guess one. Everyone's trying to. Boop coming, boop coming. Go, 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 go. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> the look of judge. <laughs> cool. So in that case, Murphy, uh, let me know the moment you're ready to go, and we'll start uh, teeing up the episode. We'll begin with sort of, uh, you know what you can do is open up the app and the compass stuff and sort of just spin around in circles so that you just know that you're vaguely pointed to where we're located. Yeah, it's pretty off, actually. No, no, it's... You damn it, Alex, you were right! This thing is worthless! <laughs> you record everything! <laughs> <laughs> Son of a- wait, wait, no, no, it's coming back, it's coming back. If that's not it, man... Oh, you think- oh, uh, maybe that's it. That's definitely it. Yeah, I think it's this is way. It? Sure. But what is that? That is not ten miles away. Yeah, it's ten miles away. No, that's not. It's super- that's- that's it. That's like that's you like, wait. That's like three or four miles away. Do I, I need to get it. on Google Maps? It is that way. Are you sure it's not? There's a water tower right there. I think that may be it, man. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> All right. So I'm here. I like how we have the least complicated job in this whole operation. <laughs> that, way, that seems like that seems way too close. Maybe it's just so thick and meaty. Dude. I guess that is it. That's that's right there. Yeah. Almost there. That's it. That's just a so few more close. Close. Same <laughs> that that one. <laughs> Don't tell anybody yeah, yeah, we were yeah. in it the wrong way. Turn the one. camera off. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like it was a neighborhood away. It was so thick and meaty. The meat on this thing. <laughs> it's ropey son of a bitch. <laughs> All right. What was that? Nothing. <laughs> what was that? That really feels like the right direction. <laughs> just, oh yeah. That didn't feel quite right. <laughs> Apparently that was just some the rando. The direction we look feels <laughs> feels like the right one. Yeah, this one's got it. It's got to take, man. This one. <laughs> okay, now there's fire over there. <laughs> <laughs> Be ever clear, Brian. God damn it. <laughs> well, that's not it. I might have been confused about how this works, but we do have a little bit of lighter fluid, so let me see if I can get this thing spreading. Hold on. That can't be the fire. That really can't be the fire. <laughs> like the timing. Professional fire eater struggles to start fire. Okay. Film at 11. They haven't started it yet. They're getting it going. Because, look, this one over here is starting up again. To the right of the water tower. Yeah. Everywhere but the direction <laughs> I, we're looking yes, is a fire yeah. going. <laughs> uh, you guys go radio silent while we go ahead and do the setup for the episode. Okay. Just, just, hold on, just, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I think he's about in the middle of it, right? <laughs> Did you do it? <laughs> wait, now we gotta wait for him to like regain their composure. Like, God, like, fucking, who did that? Son of a bitch. <laughs> okay, now we're okay. <laughs> I'm rolling again. They, they've given I'm you. I'm saying my. Establish the premise. Here's the hook. <laughs> they've unknowingly given you a button that just ruins everything. <laughs> that was not me. All right. Gentlemen, sh sh uh, 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 shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I got him. <laughs> oh, timed it perfectly. <laughs> Gentlemen, sh sh shut up. <laughs> this is Modern Rogue World Headquarters reaching out to Echo Point Alpha, one mile out. Are you there, Jason? Modern Rogue, Jason here at Echo Point Alpha. We have no sign of a signal fire just yet. Possibly the most important. <sighs> Echo Team 3, the Whiskey Bastards, are you there? My favorite part of that is that you had to admit with your mouth that we're the best. <laughs> <laughs> Ha 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 ha!
said it with your mouth, Brian. <laughs> if you can, get footage and let us know how it looks. Sounds good, we're on it. Every time we've done a shoot with Modern Rogue, my goal is to make my appearance unusable. <laughs> There's a lot of chickens over there, man. <laughs> Is this all going to brushwood? Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I know what's happening. What? The wheels are turning. <laughs> I just need to not say anything ever again. <laughs> you just now realized. <laughs> It's just I forgot he's been a total dick. He's been such a dick. <laughs> this brawl is ladies. This brawl is chick. I don't know what she's doing. <laughs> I wouldn't know. Speaking of, I wonder how many people's last words were yeet. <laughs> The gas station is over there. Look, man. Right, because that, look, that's where the that's where the here, temple is. Here, I'll help you. So go to the Google Maps. Yeah. The water tower. Yeah. Are you guys able to see this? All right. So for about five <laughs> seconds, if you squint real hard, we think we maybe might have possibly seen the faintest wisp of a smoke column, maybe possibly, but now we don't see anything. It's such a bummer because it actually looks the best it's looked so far on our end. Watch it be the complete opposite direction. <laughs> Turn around. <laughs> There's a giant, giant column of smoke. Fuck! <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna head to the distillery and give Emma the details on what we hope to be the first retail release of Crowded Barrel Whiskey. So she's going to be blending a lot of stuff and it's going to be a lot of pressure. We'll see how she does. Yo, yo. Yo. <laughs> okay, so what do you know, if anything, so far? That there's a project that involves me. And that's about it. It's wildly inaccurate. <laughs> 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 Alright, so Daniel and I have been talking uh, about the timeline for what we want the releases to be for a crowd of barrel whiskey on retail shelves in mass. Okay. Like a lot. Distribution, volume, the whole thing. So um, even whenever we get the new still plugged in, mm -hmm. right, which we're in the process of narrowing it down which one. Yep. We're still not going to have the production capability or the barrel storage warehouse. Yeah, even if we ramped up yeah. production, where are we going to put it right now? The only question we need to answer is how many distilleries can we get a meaningful pipeline of whiskey from? Mm -hmm. An ongoing pipeline. Yeah. Um, so it's like if we got something and we liked it, we know we could go back and get it again. Right. And it it's, would taste as close as possible to the thing we got last time. Right. Mm -hmm. Emma. We're going to be putting you in charge of blending this. Mm -hmm. You're going to be the head blender, and it's going to be a very high-profile project. And you're going to be on camera quite a bit more. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I want to be uh, recording that entire process from you know conception of the whiskey okay. to tying up the sources for the whiskey to the so even the process. phone calls like well so what's our bottle count. Like, what are we trying to put out there? That's Texas good, or that's a good question. the U.S.? I mean, we can start in phases, right? Uh, maybe Texas is the first phase, and then after we figure out the logistics of actually getting something on the shelf, because it's not only going to be conversations with um, whiskey makers, like the retail stores. Yeah. There's so many on the shelf. Getting a foothold on the retail shelves right now Yeah. incredibly difficult. I, I talked to Iron Root. Find out what it's required of them Right. To be reasonably present in total line, right. which happened over the last year or so. Find out what bottle quantities they've been having to provide to keep up with demand. 
That is before they won Bourbon of the Year. Well, that, well, that's, <laughs> that's kind of a frustrating thing. Like we uh, made a lot of friends. Yeah. And apparently, a lot of the friends that we've made have have a new problem. Yeah, it's can't making, keep up. It's making enough whiskey. Yeah. So what would have been an easy get for us to? Yeah, sell they would have loved that, but now they're in from uh, Balcones or Iron Root. Yeah. Now they have so much um, demand. It's possible Balcones mm -hmm. is still on the list. You think? Yeah, they've got they've got two warehouses. Okay. At least there's like an accent. Yeah, I them. think, and and their consistency is right. solid. Here's yeah. what I think would be a good goal, and whether or not it's practical at all, I don't know. But a good goal, I think, would have would be to have the majority of the whiskey that's in that bottle not be Heaven Hill or MGP. Right. But first and foremost, it needs to be. It needs to taste good. Yeah. Here's here's the needle that I think we kind of need to thread with this release with the whiskey that's actually in the bottle. Um, a lot of the stuff that's been coming out of Crowded Barrel, it is for the hardcore whiskey enthusiasts, people on the Patreon. They like mm -hmm. big flavors, high proofs, super super complex. Yeah. And the shorthand that I've been throwing around recently is whiskeys that are being graded on the nerd curve, right? And it's the kind of bottle that if you put something in front of somebody that just likes, you know, sweet, friendly, easy whiskeys, mm -hmm. too much. Yeah. They don't know what to do with it. I think a good balance for us to try and achieve with the actual whiskey quality isn't necessarily cash strength. I think the proof should be where we think the best flavors show up. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's another part of the process that I think we should invite um, the Magnificent Ambassadors from the Patreon in on. Yeah. Uh, show up on a weekend. Uh, all the, the blending options that you guys voted on previously, here's those blends, but now we've proofed them at certain levels and let people choose which proofs they like. Mm -hmm. So this, this still is a very collaborative crowdsource type of process. Right. Yeah. But, but it's accessible too. But it's accessible. I think we need to have a flavor set that is definitely layered. It's not one dimensional, sweet and simple and, and boring, mm -hmm. but it can't be so challenging that you have to have gone through the gauntlet of high proofs and extreme flavors yeah. to really appreciate what's in there. And I think a lot of the stuff that we've released has been that it's been serving that hardcore whiskey nerd crowd. I think just about everything but the used oak Eleanor has been that. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I think for this mass release, um, we need to have a respectable level of proof and flavors that even the hardcore people be like, yeah, this is just a solid whiskey. Yeah. But people who are on the other end of that spectrum, they're not getting annihilated by something that is just a wall of flavor and hot, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But this is going to be a very transparent process. That's it's right. not their secret distilleries in the blend. Yeah. We want to be very, very yeah, clear about who's yeah, in you the bottle, about why we're excited about their... their you can't sell us whiskey and then refuse to let us talk about you. Yes. This is a good thing for you. Yeah, we're not trying to hide this thing. Yeah, yeah. And so the questions that you need to know from them, that one's one of them, Emma, that are they willing to be a, a transparent part of the process? Right. Two, what is the cost of these things? Right. What's the cost of what they're going to sell us? Actual numbers. And uh, three, send us samples. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And four, even more importantly, if we like it, can, can we you guarantee more? that we can get more of exactly the same thing? Right. Is that fair? Am I missing anything else? Because those questions allow us to answer other questions like what price points. Yeah, no, I mean, a costs. large part of that will depend on yeah. the price point we can get these sources from. Right. And I'm interested to see who's going to be game, who, want to, who wants to be part of... If we have to go to Kentucky, it's fine, but I'd prefer to not be in there at all. Yeah, and they're all great. Of course it's great. Yeah, but, but there's a tremendous we don't need another one of those. Tremendous amount of good whiskey coming out of other places too. Yeah. Long game, um, if we can make a damn good whiskey, get it on retail shelves, and we'll try and start with Texas and then spread out to the rest of the, uh, of the states and then international. But if we can do that, then w one thing that we've learned from our other uh, friends in the whiskey business, if you have a foothold, so much easier to get other stuff on the shelf. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. The hardest thing we're gonna do is right now. The selling of a whole bunch of whiskey is all well and good. We want to build the freaking castle someday for the Magnificent Bastards. But the main issue is, if this is going to be the first thing we're putting on retail shelves in mass, mm -hmm. it needs to be a damn good whiskey. Yep. Emma. I can make a damn good whiskey. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> you got this, Emma. <laughs> we're going to go do the easy stuff now. All right, have fun. <laughs> Are you nervous? Maybe a little bit. <laughs> <laughs>
This is the most boring thing it could possibly have been. Busters labels. Living the dream, man. What is this for? I don't know. What is this for? Who is this for? This is for a UK magazine. Okay. They want the cover to be us for the summer issue. Think magazine cover, Alex. Yeah. Come on. There's this is no your way chance. They would ever put this on there. Daniel, just sit directly underneath Yeah, There you go. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> That's gross. <laughs> oh my. Wait, get back down They're down never going to take that shot. Work it, work it, get back down there. Shot. They really loved the shot when they were taken for Texas Monthly of yeah. us on this side across to the wood wall. Rex, you need, a, you, you, need a, you need a thing of wood. You can probably hold whiskey in your hands, right? Nah, fuck it. Oh, I'm going to lose my laugh in Texas Monthly. <laughs> Y'all don't want. And I'll do mine. Y'all don't want to hold whiskey. Sure, let's hold whiskey. We Why do we need to hold? That's so ter That's so stereotypical. I want to hold flowers. Yeah. It's just so random. They're gonna be like, what the hell is wrong with these guys? <laughs> How do you feel guys? Feel like you're working with a pro? That's a word for it. We want to get loaded. Ooh, it's my hog. You ready for this? Let me show off. Oh yeah. You got a wheelie out. What? Man. Wait, wait, there's another gear. You ready? Pinky came off. It was it was dangling off. It was dangling off. Is that the the scar? That's the scar, in the yeah. No, I dropped um, just like a mug, and I like tried to reach down to like catch it, but it broke and a piece flew back up. Did it get into the bone? Yeah, oh yeah. There's a little vein just going. No, 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 no. we're done. We're done. It's just so gross. Yep. Nope. Hands. Hands. Yeah. <laughs> Two things. First of all, I definitely did not pee my pants. I spilled some whiskey on the scoot over here. Secondly, this episode brought to you by the Wizard of Ed's partners. These are marketing professionals. Everything from strategists to writers to media buyers that specialize in turning small businesses into big businesses. You can go to wizardofads.com to see a list of Wizard of Ed's partners and find the right fit for you. And Dan, Dan, uh, you guys shooting the video? He's here. Alex and Dan are getting set up for live stream. I'll we'll check in with Daniel. We're about an hour and a half out from doing the live stream. We haven't done one on the main channel with everybody for a very long time. So this will be fun. Got a bunch of things to talk about, but uh, having the guys set it up right now. My wife is here, she doesn't know she's gonna be giving me a skullet, otherwise I'm gonna be getting a lot of crap about having a skullet. But if she's the one that gives me the skullet, smooth sailing. Yeah? Relationship advice. Take notes. You have no idea what you're doing, do you? <laughs> stop, stop right here. Ah, oh, this is awful. <laughs> Happy as I can be